Um, I remember my spirit had come out of my body. Um, wait, like, um, it seemed like my spirit had come out of my body and I was viewing my body on the altar with um, the leg spread and with these particular things <clears throat> which had spread my legs and um, then had come back into my body after it was done. It seemed like they had done it to another person. I knew it was me that they were doing it to, but I had felt like my spirit had come out of my body looking at myself being abused in this manner. And I, okay. I'd been turned over with my rectum in the air, and I remember excruciating pain. I mean, <laughs> I remember being a lot of pain in my rectum. Um, it was hot, hot, painful, excruciating pain that nerves went up your nose, nerve endings. I just remember an excruciating waking up feeling that it just hurt so bad. Oh, this hurt so bad. And I remember those feelings that it hurt. This heat, this hot feeling in my rectum. What they did, I have no idea, but it hurt like hell. <laughs> but you I'm were, sorry. You were silent during this time. Yeah, it, it was. Did, it, it would take you, everything I had to be quiet. Because and you had to not been scream. programmed to be silent. Yes, uh -huh. yeah. You didn't scream, but someone else did. <laughs> Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, I, I'm trying to. Um, I remember I hurt, and all I can remember is her screaming. Oh, God. And she would just scream, you know, just scream and scream, and they had stopped what they did to me and turned me back over and put me back on the table. It was like, oh, something's happened in the ceremony and they knew exactly what to do, but they didn't care about her screaming at all. <laughs> they wouldn't care. She would just scream. And I remember a time she would just stop. She couldn't stop. She couldn't stop the screaming. I'm in a hurry. Um, I remember the um, the main man that handled the ceremony would come over and uh, with his sword. He had a sword, and uh, she was still screaming in hysterics. <laughs> and what did I do? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't moan. I didn't groan and I didn't do a damn thing. I just was silent. I didn't say nothing. I didn't do nothing. And it was the responsibility was on my head. I felt like, well, maybe if I could scream with her, they wouldn't do this. I tried to get myself together. I didn't think I'd cry, but I am. Um, and he had put the sword in twice, and sized her this way, and sized her that way. And I just remember her looking at me. So I don't remember. And she gurgled and passed away. That's all I remember. She stopped screaming. <laughs> she stopped screaming. It was all my fault. I can't help but blame myself that it was all my fault. It's